Today's topic is risk taking in business. We all know that risk is inherent in growing any business. We all have to face decisions about when to take risks, when to avoid them and be smart about it. Sometimes we may get stuck in what's called the status quo bias, staying in the comfort of what we know, even if it's not great but at least we know it. Other times we may seek out risk because it's exciting and new. So how do we find an optimal approach? I believe it's rooted in amare, the energy of love that can drive great leaders and build great business. So with amare, risk taking is a little bit different. Amare leaders have trust in the universe. They believe that the universe is conspiring to support them. Why not? And there's a belief in abundance. There's plenty to go around. And finally, this notion of being unattached. And this is a tough one, being unattached to the outcome. So we take a risk, we may be successful, we may fail, but either way, we're not attached to the outcome. We will be be the same as an ancient Indian scripture puts it, be the same in success and defeat. So how do we go about taking risks the Amari way? Well, there's several techniques to use, and I spell these out in this week's Amari Wave Wednesday newsletter. One of them is simply do a tally, a top of mind tally. Think about, as an organization, how many times have you chosen to take the risk? And notice what happened. What what were the outcomes? doesn't mean be attached to them, it means notice them. We still want to aspire aspire to success and positive outcomes. And did we learn from our failures? That's critical to Amare risk-taking is allowing, expecting failure and learning from it and modeling that for our people that it's okay to fail, fail as long as we assess what happened and come up with a plan to avoid it the next time. If we don't learn from it, that's not acceptable. So in Amari organizations, taking risks is a powerful thing. It's done carefully and with appropriate due diligence, but also with a trust in an inner guidance system. Amari leaders have trained themselves to assess alignment with their, between their actions and an overall feeling with what's right for the company. So there's data, there's hard data, and then there's this inner guidance, another form of data. Taking risks is critical to the success of every organization. When we avoid taking risks, it inhibits innovation and it stops growth. So I encourage you to consider the Amari approach to taking risks. Give it a try.